So how do you feel after um, your first day in pads? Uh, it felt good. Just continue working on technique. My body is tired. I mean, that's part of football. Right. So technique is one of the things that you've been talking about wanting to fix, especially coming in from your freshman year. How far do you think you've made progress? Uh, I've definitely made a lot of progress, especially with like learning the receiver routes and predicting it. Uh, technique has definitely improved so much since freshman year, and I'm just still continuing to evolve. And now I just got to work the end phase of the technique, just finishing after the plays. So what's a part of your technique or your footwork specifically that you think you've improved? Uh, it starts my footwork from the line. Usually I just like let the receiver get a free release, but now I'm actually using my feet instead of like popping out and like having dead feet. So I'm actually being moving there with the receiver, having a better chance to stop the ball and being there. It seems like you've done a fair bit of work in getting your press technique figured out. Is that something you did a lot of in high school that you had to learn more of after coming uh, here? High school and college is completely different, so I've learned a whole bunch more here in college. And it's it's a huge difference between high school press and college press. I'm learning how to actually jam a receiver. I'm still learning how to do that right now. What are some of those differences? Um, it starts with the, the footwork, just um, making sure you don't pop your feet out and stuff like that. Just make sure you do the right technique. Coach Burns talked about eventually flipping you from the right side to the left side. Um, do you have a preference as to what side you prefer to play? Nah, corner is corner. Well, corner is corner, but one is covering off man versus covering the split end. So the routes are a little different. Does your mindset change when you flip over to the left side? No, nah, my mindset doesn't change. Just my, my job is just to lock down a receiver, and that's why I'm here. Elijah and some of the other corners have talked about how Greg Johnson has taken over as the vocal leader of your group. Can you speak to that a little bit? Uh, Greg Johnson is a great guy. Less it happen right now. We just continue to work as a team, and especially with our DB core, we got to keep learning the playbook and everything like that. It would be great. Do you feel like you've had to take more of a leadership role since, even though you're still so young, there's not that many veteran guys at corner? Uh, we definitely got to help out with the young guys, helping them figure out the playbook. So we're all together, especially in that DB room, just helping out the younger guys because you know, a young guy is kind of hard for him to learn a huge playbook in college. So we're there just to guide him and mentor him, make sure we're all great. One of us, if one of us knows it, we all got to know it. That's how it is. How different is it full pads versus the, you know, the shells and stuff you do in the last couple of practices? You said that? How different is it for you going full pads in more practice? Um, the, I feel like the intensity gets up a little bit more and like my head gets a little hot head because now I want to hit him, you feel me? But you know, it, 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 it feels good being full pass because that's how it is going to be the game, you know. You get to tackle for the first time in months. Is that a, is that a good feeling for <laughs> you the especially defense? get to hit. Yeah, defense love to hit. Also, which of the receivers, especially the younger guys, have stood out to you so far? Uh, Monir has great speed. And then there's uh, Drake Lennon, great height. And then who else we got? That's pretty much like the only two, but... All the other receivers are really good and everything. It pushes to be great because we got to work our technique no matter against who. And amongst your own unit, with you and Elijah, Greg, how do you feel the chemistry is between you guys and how you guys talk to each other on the field? Uh, we're all brotherhood, so if one of us knows it, we all got to know it. There's no differences. No one hates each other. We all love each other. and We're all trying to do our best. We got to stay healthy. That's the biggest part. So we're all connected in this. What traits does Chris Steele bring to the group? Uh, Chris Steele, um, he's a great uh, DB, uh, which is helping him learn the playbook and everything. We continue to guide him and mentor him. He's a he's a one hell of a player. What do you feel like was the hardest part of the playbook for you to learn? Um, just the hardest playbook was just everything. Just trying to learn all those all those plays in your head compared to like high school where it's just like, all right, go cover him, go man. You actually got to learn it and you got to make sure you call the right calls and everything. So what do you emphasize to Chris? He said what? So what do you emphasize to Chris? You know, um, we're, we just got we just got to keep studying and playbook, keep remembering, and that's gonna happen. That's gonna keep happening eventually. Because the longer you're here, the better you get comfortable and from from memorize. Elijah was talking about how when he was sitting out with his shoulder surgeries that it was one of the worst times of his life. Could you tell that he was kind of down not being able to be out here with you guys? Uh, well, you said what now? He said, Elijah said when he was out during spring, it was one of the worst times of his life because he couldn't be out here with you guys. Could you tell that he was 
sad he couldn't be out there or that it, that was hard on him? Uh, that's how it is like with any injury with any type of guy because you know we all you know why we're here we're here to play football so we love the game and everything so one injury kind of like affects us all because we all of us have to stay healthy and everything because one of us feels down that's gonna be that's gonna affect us all I already know how the injury felt because I've been to that anyone that goes to that injury they're all gonna feel down because we love football we want to play it as long as we can so that it's okay for him to be down but when he comes back when he's back right now he's happy that's all that matters seems like he's a pretty like passionate guy when he's out there mm -hmm. he's very hype and everything <laughs> <laughs> How did it feel to get your first pick of practicing pads today? Uh, it's a good play. Um, just got to continue to keep working better and stuff like that. Yeah, what happened on the play? Uh, just jumped the, uh, was it like an out route? Just for six. Yeah, studying that playbook. <laughs> <laughs> It also seems like you guys are a lot more vocal on the back end of the defense than you guys were last year. Can you speak to that? Do you feel like that's the case? Uh, yeah, I feel like that's a lot of more the case because uh, as a defense, you got to be vocal overall and you got to continue to echo the calls overall. You know, last year, I feel like we didn't echo enough calls and then we just got to keep up with the calls right now because communication is big and we all got to talk to each other and we all got to feel the same way, communicate the calls everywhere. So where does that change come from? Is it from the coaching staff that they tell you to communicate more? Or is it just the group of guys that you have now? It comes from the coaching staff and it also comes from us because without communication, we're all going to be lost. So I feel like and we all feel like we got to communicate everywhere. Um, you guys don't have a lot of experience on paper. But do you get the sense the way you're playing that you play like you've got more experience than you may have? Our experience has come from the practices, so how